The other part of the equipment that we always find very, very useful is having an autorefractor keratometer. Uh, and here we go, right here. Uh, it's just been renovated, the insides of the box have been redone. It is an older model, I still use one now every day. Um, the keratometer is accurate enough. We use this keratometry to do the cataract surgeries in Cape York, so uh, it is accurate enough for doing that, and I find it an uh, invaluable uh, help in the communities as we're working around. So that comes along with the kit as well. So there you go, that's your basic optometry kit. Okay. The thing that probably gets a bit cut above where, where a lot of other programs are is the ability to have a slip lamp. So the idea was that we've got these slip lamp, this slip lamp here. We took it off the table and put the tables in all the communities that we work out of. So the 26 tables. Uh, this has since been expanded around Australia via Iris. I think we have in excess of 70 tables now around Australia. The whole idea is that rather than have to take a whole slip lamp, which is of course impossible, is that you show up just with the slip lamp itself, the, the microscope, and you fit it to a table. Now, that's been wonderful for us, but the dilemma comes in that when we now want to give this for a loan piece of equipment, if you don't have a hard stride table to put this onto, this becomes useless. And seeing it's such a central part of what we do in our diagnosis and treatment, that had to be solved. Once again, with some funding organised by Iris, my design, we have built a portable slip lamp table. Okay. So this one table here, that uh, weighs 13 kilograms. We can set up, as you'll see, in just a matter of minutes, a slip lamp to be used in just about anywhere. So what you're going to need is a table. We put a towel down here today because it's a nice shiny wooden table, but on a laminate table you wouldn't worry about that. And the idea is this clamps to the table, it's got its own power source within it, okay, in there. And the slip lamp just goes, the uh, slip lamp itself just plugs straight onto here, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But uh, first and first, I'll just set this up onto the table, just for a second. Uh, in fact, if you'd like to come around this side for a moment. So the way it works is, there it is, it's folded up inside the box, there's your power circuit, any old jug lead will do to go into that, any old computer lead. Uh, straight in there, you've got your on-off switch there. Basically, you need any table. Now, obviously, this table doesn't go up and down like a normal slip lamp table does. The idea behind this is you get a chair that goes up and down. So rather than move the actual table up and down to suit the patient's height, we use just about any old office chair or stool even uh, that you'll find laying around most of the clinics that you'll we'll ever be performing these tasks at. Uh, and you do it that way. Okay, there we go. It's got a little protecting shim on the bottom there as well. Just to protect your table touch. As you can see there, nice and solid. Um, it's designed more around for using clinic tables. Uh, and it is measured to, to suit them quite well. Okay. 